The large the lad over there. Boy. The chunky boy. Let's try that. I mean, that looks decent. That looks all right, I think. That's oh. not bad. Oh, yeah, it's fought it first mortar in about a year, and it's just a 48. I forget, you know. <laughs> I, I literally don't. <laughs> that looks quite good. Oh, what a shot! <laughs> that was amazing. I, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh, the shameful poison death. <laughs> oh, ah, exactly God. the same oh. shot again. <laughs> it's not even a bad strat to in free play, though. It's like, <laughs> stay in the same place. <laughs> oh, 52. Oh. I am not moving. Oh. <laughs> this is working. It's working. Oh, oh, shot. Very nice. <laughs> what, did, what did I shoot last time? I, so, I don't recall. I oh, think that's exactly that. That, <laughs> I, think, that I think is going to be quite nice this time. Oh. Yeah, there we go. Oh. Well, at least you moistened yeah. him up for me. Now, well, now I can finish him off. The French and the Germans, oh, yeah, it's World War One properly now. Me and my mates always used to call him Groin Fire. <laughs> Which sounds painful. Yes! Oh. Victory! <laughs> Victory! Zoom in. Zoom in so close. I'm just hiding off screen of shame. <laughs> <laughs> oh oh shit! Rest, it's so wrong, I man. didn't even see that, I was busy looking at that. Ah, fucking hell. <laughs> right, well. And I went down the pub with old uh, Mickey and we went down the lakes for a cool cup of £10 tench. Oh, I'd love to have seen Sinatra back in the day now. <laughs> Excuses. I want to commentate, but I don't know how to commentate a fight. Bunch, bunch, forward, stump. Let them again. Okay, my oh. down button doesn't seem to work. I see, so now the down button's not working. Oh, <laughs> fuck. Look at the beautiful drink. Thanks. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> beautiful. Day one is over. Look at all these people. What are these people doing? Where are these people going? Good morning, everybody. And uh, welcome to day two of 
Hogs on tour here in the, the beautiful sunny Cambridge. We got some beautiful weather today. I'm very excited to uh, take plenty of photos and videos of planes because I like planes. But the problem as well, you might hear in this video, my shoes are, it might be the socks I'm wearing, but listen. <laughs> Like, I don't know if you can hear that, but... Squeaky goddamn shoes. It me my home and my pals and my family. You may think it's strange, but one of the main reasons why I wanted to come to Duxford in the first place was to view this little baby right here. For those that follow me on IL-2, you will of course know that the A6M0 is my favourite plane of all time, and little did the people around me know at the time that this tiny scrap of metal was actually the most deadly fighter plane in the entire hangar, and if not the entire airfield, be it missing several pieces. Captured by the Allies sometime in 1945, the stamp on the side of this plane stands for the Allied Technical Air Intelligence Unit, which was based out of Southeast Asia, and generally the origins of this particular plane are somewhat unknown. It is the A6M5 variant, and it is suggested, but not confirmed, that it was flown by the 381st Air Wing of the Imperial Japanese Navy. Seeing a zero on British shores is certainly strange, but a absolute highlight to this journey. It was amazing, and uh, going forward I'm hoping that uh, the Imperial War Museum can restore this zero, along with the one that is currently based in London as well, which I hope to see in future. <laughs> We're going to be getting airborne for our opening scenario, taxiing off down the hard taxiway. Familiar shape to many of you, an aircraft type that was here on match back in 1968 when large portions of the Battle of Britain movie were filmed from this very movie. Obviously you move forward. Well, it, it is amazing, Soren, and uh, you clearly are very proud of your father. Not only in terms of what he did, you know, to escape from Polar, but his That's what I'm looking for. The Allied bomber effects through the 1942 to 45. 
conducted by Aria Comicon. Floats have come down here. Oh, yes. Give me those. The Battle of the Atlantic was the longest battle of the Second World War, in fact. The U boats were operating throughout. And it was only at the very end when the cruise marine actually gave up their arms and uh, all of those U boats that were still active. And many of them, of course, did, didn't survive at all. It was a very dangerous preoccupation to be a U boat. Able to overfly his home. Find the captain in the forest bay in the captain's seat. What's coming, boys? The swordfish went on to have a key role in protecting the Atlantic and Arctic supply yeah, convoys. The sword, you see the sword, just over. They sank 21 yeah, buses during wartime, mainly on the Arctic convoy escorts to North Russia. The Arctic making their first carrier strike group deployment with the new carrier the following year. But now this is where it starts to get very noisy indeed. As the F-35B is moving
you have to have an aeroplane that's got a bit of a bite to it. That's certainly true of the... Um, the Felix we see here, currently the only one flying in the UK, though there is a second that hopefully will be taking to the air before not too long, and by the same owner as this He says it's absolutely splendid to fly, agile, harmonised and very maneuverable. And there goes the bear back, which is fair of those big fighters putting the airborne airborne on its slots. Notice that with this one by a syndicate headed by David Brownwell of the Atlantic and roaring in from the western end of the airfield is the bear cat. Skoda power. All three cylinders. Yeah, maybe. 